Hey, what's up, Bills Mafia? We are back. It is the AFC, I'm sorry, the NFC West preview, the San Francisco 49ers, the Seattle Seahawks, the Arizona Cardinals, and the Los Angeles Rams. Um, this will leave the AFC and NFC East, which will be done tomorrow. Um, with going through these teams, there's two teams that I don't think are going to make the playoffs and two that probably that probably will. Um, the Seattle Seahawks, starting off with them, I don't know what they're doing in Seattle. I don't think anybody knows what they're doing. I don't think they know what they're doing. Uh, they let Russell Wilson go for a bag of peanuts, um, and they've got Jake Locke, or I'm sorry, um, well, Locke, as their quarterback um, in return for uh, Russell Wilson, and they got the tight end, I forget his name, but it's irrelevant because Locke is no good. Geno Smith, whom I'm assuming they're going to troll out there at the beginning of the season, he's no good. If you remember, he was chosen as the second quarterback in that draft with E.J. Manuel. So I don't I don't know what they're doing in Seattle, and I, I don't think it's going to be a good season at all. They're not good at quarterback, and if you don't have a quarterback, you're not going anywhere. Um, the next team in line is the Arizona Cardinals. Uh, the Cardinals uh, re-signed uh, Kyler Murray in the offseason to a new contract. He kind of bullied his way into a new contract a little bit too soon, if you ask me. Um, he still had a couple of years to go on his rookie deal, and he hasn't proven he can win anything other than some regular season games. And you can only win regular season games at the beginning of the season because second half of the season is never any good for the Cardinals. So they're locked into Kyler Murray for the next few years. And he's good, but I don't know how good he really is. Um, the So I, they're going to be a good team this year. I just don't know how good. That being said, moving on to the San Francisco 49ers, who made some questionable decisions to me in the offseason. Uh, they tried to get rid of Jimmy Garoppolo, who's led them to an NFC Championship game and the Super Bowl. Um, I, I'm not a big Jimmy Garoppolo fan, but uh, to go with Trey Lance, who has no experience, but they invested the draft pick in them, so I guess that's why. But I don't know how good he's going to be. He hasn't really shown any. He hasn't really shown too much in in the past season. And he hasn't shown much in this preseason. So they may be wasting a lot of talent that they have on defense and um and on offense. Quite frankly, so I I don't know what they're doing. Um, and then there's the world champion Los Angeles Rams, who may have an issue of their own. Because, as it turns out, Matthew Stafford is having some elbow issues. We'll have to see how that's going to affect him since he didn't play in the preseason. Um, we'll have to see going forward starting Thursday night. Um, they did get Allen Robinson from the Bears in the offseason, so that will help their receiving core, who lost Odell Beckham Jr., if you remember, in the Super Bowl. Now, Odell Beckham Jr. has been linked to Buffalo, just because Von Miller keeps putting it out there, which, you know, I I kind of have mixed reviews about, not because of Odell Beckham Jr., but because just because the Bills have a really good receiving core already. I don't really think they need any additions. But that being said, back to the Rams, um, Allen Robinson and Cooper Cup, Tyler Higbee at tight end, good core, Good running backs, solid defense, especially with the game wrecker back on board. Um, they're going to be good. They're going to win that division hands down, I think. And um, as long as Matthew Stafford can stay healthy. But that's uh, where I stand with the Rams and, and that division. The Rams are going to win it. The Cardinals are going to be good. They may make the playoffs this year just because the NFC isn't that great. So um, 
tomorrow it will be the NFC and AFC East that will conclude the divisions um, for for the uh, for my previews, and then Thursday morning, or sometime during the day Thursday before the game, um, I will give you my NFL predictions and who's going to make it to the Super Bowl. As always, go Bills!